Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the regular meeting of the Mayor and Board of Trustees for the Village of Burr Ridge. It is, of course, February 13th. Our first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, tonight we're going to be led by someone from uh, my parish, the school, uh, at, uh, over at St. Isaac Jogues. Uh, she is Juliana uh, Regal. And she's, uh, she is, uh, she, her favorite subjects are math and science. Uh, her hobbies are gymnastics. She loves cooking, loves baking from scratch, finds new recipes online and tries them out. Uh, participates through the school in the Feed My Starving Children program in Aurora. Uh, the SIJ students are taken by bus to the facility in Aurora uh, where they fill bags with soy and protein items, all supervised by adults and, and seal the bags for delivery. Juliana is, uh, feels strongly about this program, looks forward to participating in it. In it, uh, Juliana has uh, uh, presented her father with a brick in our Veterans Memorial uh, for Father's Day. Uh, she is here tonight with her uh, mom and dad, Mark and Allie Regal, as well as her grandmother, or Mimi, as I was as I was corrected, uh, and her two brothers. Now, if uh, Juliana could uh, lead us to the Pledge of Allegiance, that'd be great. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Trustee Francis. Here. Trustee Grasso. Trustee Paveza. Here. Trustee Bolas. Here. Trustee Schiappa. Here. Mayor Straub. He's here. He's here. Yes. Here. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, now we have a portion for residents' uh, comments. Are there anyone from the audience who would like to address the board at this time? Okay, we're going to go to uh, the consent agenda. The uh, consent agenda, or all items listed with an asterisk, are, con are considered to be uh, routine by the village board. It will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion on these items unless uh, a board member or citizen so requests, in which, in which event the item will be removed. Uh, under minutes, we have 5A, approval of regular board meeting of January 23rd, 2017. 5B, approval of budget goals and objectives meeting of January 30th, 2017. Uh, C, receive and file a, a Veterans Memorial Committee meeting of October 26, 2016. D, receive and file a draft plan commission meeting of February 6, 2017. Receive and file a draft uh, uh, stormwater committee meeting is E of uh, February 6, 2017. Under ordinances, we have uh, uh, 6B, approval of an ordinance uh, amending uh, section 4 of the Burr Ridge Zoning uh, relative to the location of personal wireless facilities and public rights of way. That's Z-15-2016. That's a text amendment uh, for small cell antennas. Under resolutions, we have 7A, adoption of resolution approving the annual publication of the Village of Burr Ridge Zoning Map. We have the 8A, uh, consideration approval of uh, plan commission recommendation to approve a special use for a running store fitness apparel store with sales of craft beer uh, or wine at Z01 2017 located at 555 Village Center Drive for Crookshank. 8B approval recommendation to award contract for aquatic uh, weed management. 8C approval recommendation to award contract for cellular modem upgrades to water and sewer uh, SCADA systems. Uh, D Receive and file resignation letter from Trustee Paula Murphy. E, approval <laughs> recommendation to a purchase uh, respiratory protection equipment for police department. F, approval recommendation to renew uh, contracts for lift, sta uh, lift station maintenance. Uh, hold on, uh, we got the approval of uh, G, approval of recommendation to approve uh, agreement regulating video surveillance cameras for the neighborhood video surveillance program for Arrowhead Farm subdivision. H, approval recommendation to appoint James Brolin as full plan commissioner for a five-year term that expires February 1st, 2022. I, approval request for Family and Medical Leave Act, leave of absence for police data clerk, Christina Henderson. Under J, we have approval recommendation to approve request 
from the Willowbrook Burr Ridge Chamber of Commerce for placement of temporary promotional signs for the Business Expo on June 7, 2017, and the Cruising 66 Fest, uh, which is on uh, August 12, 2017. K, approval of request for raffle license for Gower PTO 62 and hosting facility license for Gower Middle School for event on March 10, 2017. Raffle ticket sales uh, are from uh, February 10th, or 2-10-17 to March 10th, uh, 17. Under REL, <clears throat> approval of vendor list in the amount of $609,723.83 for all funds, plus $255,320.69 for payroll, for a grand total of $865,055.53, which includes special expenditures of $14,000, $252.45 to Southwest Central Dispatch <clears throat> for final payout on contract. $244,700 to HD Supply Waterworks Limited for census water meters, radio units, and touchpad unit and accessory. That's one of our longest list ever. Uh, and I have a motion to approve the following items on the consent agenda. That will be 5A, B, C, D, any ordinances, uh, 6B, uh, under resolutions, 7A, <coughs> under, under considerations, 8A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Francis? Yes. yes. Trustee Schiappa? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. <coughs> Trustee Pavesa? Yes. Four. Four zero. Motion passes four zero. And now under ordinances, consideration of an ordinance amending the village of Burridge building ordinance to adopt a new fee schedule for building permits. We have Doug Pollock. Good evening. Uh, at your budget workshop on January 30th, you had directed staff to prepare an ordinance amending the building code uh, relative to building permit fees. Uh, this was after the village had, staff had done a survey of uh, similar villages to Burr Ridge and determined that our fees were, if not the lowest, amongst the lowest of any of our comparable villages, including our neighbors in Hinsdale and Willowbrook and Darien. Um, First, I would uh, show you uh, the main slide from that survey, uh, which shows that the existing fees of uh, the various villages, and you can see that right now, we're less than $9,000 uh, for a new single family home of 4,166 square feet, whereas every, all the other villages on the list are at eleven, twelve thousand $12,000 and all the way up to as much as uh, $32,000. The proposed fee increase is approximately a 33% increase. We would still be the lowest of all of these villages, uh, but we would be uh, just below uh, the lower uh, uh, villages, Clarendon Hills at 12,000, uh, Elmhurst at 11,000, Oak Brook at 11,000, et cetera. You can see that uh, uh, the, the increase puts us at $10,626 total. That includes plan review inspections, water tap on, et cetera. Um, that, uh, on the next page, um, is a, a list of the fees and, and how the fees are structured, and that was included in your packet. I'd be happy to answer any questions regarding those fees. Uh, on the, the next page, uh, you'll see uh, just a, a sample list of permits and how they would change for uh, a couple of new homes plus uh, an addition to homes. You can see that the increase on additions is, is in the $400 to $700 range, depending on the size of the, uh, of, the, um, of the addition. On the next page, you'll see the commercial or non-residential permit schedule. That increase is generally 25% across the board. And again, with the, similar to the survey for residential, this increase still keeps us at the bottom of comparable villages, uh, but more in line with those villages. 
the uh, next page and the next section of the update has to do with miscellaneous, what, what I refer to as miscellaneous permits, which is largely accessory structures for residential properties such as garages or electrical updates or uh, patios, decks, et cetera. Uh, these, uh, we have kept these fees artificially low, and by that I mean lower than what they actually cost the village to issue. The reason we've done that generally is to encourage residents uh, to get permits. Our, our, our uh, objective is, is not to raise revenues but uh, in, in these types of permits, but rather to simply uh, regulate uh, structures and make sure that people are building in compliance with our village codes, and we don't want fees to get in the way of, uh, of compliance. Uh, and I did want to point that out to you as it's structured. We probably lose five to ten thousand dollars a year total in direct costs uh, versus revenues. Um, it's, you know, as in the scheme of things, with all the other fees that we collect, uh, it's a relatively uh, minor uh, loss, and I think it's worth it to uh, to uh, make it easy for our residents to get permits. Uh, we did adjust some of the residential uh, accessory structures, uh, just those that cost. Uh, and cost more to us and those that have the most impact uh, on, on neighborhoods such as detached buildings, larger detached buildings and swimming pools. Um, we did adjust those fees uh, somewhat. On the uh, commercial side, we just, uh, for the accessory permits, we increased those again uh, a nominal amount. Uh, uh, to uh, reflect our, our actual costs for those permits. Uh, you have a detailed uh, survey of the, um, or detailed uh, red line copy of the changes to the code. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about those changes. Um, and uh, thank you for your time. And, and again, if you have any questions, I'm glad to, glad to try to help. Trustees, any questions for Doug? Trustee Francis? Yes, thank you. Uh, I agree with staff's approach to, uh, for residential permits for keeping the uh, um, miscellaneous permit fees low so as to encourage those, uh, those residents to come in and apply for those permits. I had a question about how uh, the square footage is calculated for residences. Is it staff that makes the calculation? Or does the, do you rely on the permits applicants architect for that calculation? The staff makes that calculation. It's based on the detailed uh, definition of floor area for purposes of uh, zoning, for zoning purposes. Okay, very good, thank you. Anyone else? Any residents? Okay, may, may I have a motion to approve uh, for consideration the uh, ordinance uh, amending the village of Bur Burr Ridge uh, building ordinance to adopt a new fee schedule for building permits? So moved. Second. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Trustee DeBeza? Yes. Trustee Francis? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. Trustee Scampa? Yes. 4 0. <clears throat> Under other considerations for announcement, deliberation, and or discussion only, no official action, official action will be taken. Anyone else need to add? Back to the residents' comments. Any residents would like to address the board this time? Communications from village officials. Steve, do you have anything? And of course, we don't have any non-residents in the audience today. I, I will need a. Um, a motion to uh, go into closed session uh, to discuss the following. Approval of uh, closed session minutes of January 9th, 2017. A release of closed session minutes uh, from, from through December 2016. Termination to destroy verbatim recordings of closed session minutes for the period of August 2014 <coughs> through June of 2015. Deliberation of salary schedules and benefits for one or more classes of employees and employment of employee. I have a motion to go into closed session. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nays? 
and the meeting officially on hold.